Now, I grew up in Austria. I'm very aware of Kristallnacht, or the night of broken glass. It was a night of rampage against the Jews carried out in 1938 by the Nazi equivalent of the Proud Boys. Wednesday was the day of broken glass right here in the United States. I guess it doesn't take much to become a governor in the United States. You just have to be a TV personality. And in comes Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, that's maybe not nice of me because I just claimed that he isn't smart. That's not fair. I should have just said he's an idiot. Now, why would I say that he's an idiot? Well, not in the last place because he compared what happened in the United States, the riot, let's call it a riot, why not, at Congress uh, at the beginning in January 2021 to Kristallnacht in Germany before the Second World War. Why would I claim him an idiot for comparing the two? <laughs> for all of you people out there who don't know what happened at Congress in America, there were a bunch of people who were really unhappy with the steal from the Democrats of the election, and they came to tell the world how unhappy they were. Donald Trump did ask the people to go home, to stay peaceful. But there were police that let the protesters, the rioters, whatever you want to call them, into sensitive areas, and from there they moved on further and further and further. They entered Congress and they made their way through the building where a woman got shot by one of the security officers. And you know what? Yeah, the security officer shot her through a closed door. Yeah, sure, he shouldn't have done that. But I can somewhat understand it. I think he overstepped. I really think they should... Um, Look at him, doesn't mean he should get a criminal arrest, but yeah, his, his function should be um, scrutinized, especially because the woman that got shot had two police officers close by. So yes, they were walking through the Congress building. I wouldn't call it rampaging, again, because police was there. Now, one police officer also did die during that day or died from the wounds he uh, got that day, a few more people died. I think that the, the death toll on the protest on January 2021 at Congress came to a grand total number of five. Obviously, we can compare this to Kristallnacht, where, um, let me think, what happened at Kristallnacht? Well, about 1,400 buildings were um, crashed, basically, destroyed. The night of the broken glass. Now, all of them uh, Jewish shops and Jewish houses, because, um, well, why actually did it happen? Because there was another Jew who committed an act of terrorism against a diplomat working at the embassy in Paris and killed her Rat. Now, I'm terrible with remembering names, so I have to look it up, obviously, and I'm really crap at looking things up, but his name was Ernst von Rat, and he died two days after he's been shot by uh, Herschel Grinspan, and Herschel Grinspan came from Germany, but lived with his uncle in Paris, and because of the way things were going in Germany, he was really unhappy, and he wanted to act. And his family had been deported, and he was really upset. And because of that, he shot someone working at the embassy. He wanted to shoot the ambassador, but he didn't recognize the ambassador, so he just shot a diplomat. Wrong place, wrong time sort of thing. And because of that, Kristallnacht happened. Now, don't get me wrong, Kristallnacht probably would have happened in one way or another anyway, because Germany at the time had a real big... Um, problem against the Jews, anti-Semitic you could call it, yeah, sure, why not. Um, that 
in itself also had a history. After all, the Spartacus Revolution, which was done by the Bolshevik, was mostly done by Jewish Bolsheviks, because most Bolsheviks were Jewish. Doesn't mean to say that most Jews were Bolshevik, because that is really not true. But the thing with polarization is that once we can identify a group, everyone in that group becomes a problem. We're seeing the same, by the way, in the world now, where everything white man automatically means bad. Because there were some white men that were bad, therefore all white men are bad. This is kind of the same thing that the socialists did in Nazi Germany, because Nazi, don't forget it, national socialist. So what the Nazis did to the Jew, the socialists now are doing to the white man. And then we have Schwarzenegger comparing the two. I would think he'd be wrong. I would think the hundred nights of rioting in Portland are, in a way, comparable to Kristallnacht. They claim because someone died, they have a right to destroy everything else. Now that someone that died may or may not have been an innocent bystander. I mean, yeah, you could say from Ernst from what, what you want, but he was German and he, the, the murderer was Jewish. So if we look at George Floyd, well, yeah, he was black and the ones that were standing next to him when he died were police officers. Therefore, all police officers are bad. Police officers are mostly white men. Therefore, all white men bad. See, the thing is, the mindset hasn't changed. The people with the mindset hasn't changed. It's still the socialists. What has changed is pretending who they are. It's not the Nazis that did it. It's the anti-Nazis that did it. Because, like it or not, the Proud Boys are anti-Nazis. And Antifa, the Democrats, the Socialists, are the Nazis. That's the thing with reality. It doesn't fit narratives. And that's the problem postmodernists have with the narrative. It doesn't fit their mindset. So they changed the words. They changed the meaning. The response of Kristallnacht, a hundred years rioting in America, Black Lives Matter and Antifa burning down billions of dollars of value, and as a response to that, a bunch of people break into a government building, and uh, a woman gets shot in the process. No, no, and that's Kristallnacht. The very large amount of people getting harmed before that, they actually, they, don't be silly. They weren't uh, rioters, they were just protesters. We had democratic politicians egging them on, telling them, this is what you need to do. I don't understand why not more people are doing this. Hell, the current uh, elected president and vice president, Biden and Kamala, both acted to help get the ones that committed the crime free. Posted bail, told people to help out. How is what happened in January at Congress an example of Kristallnacht? But all the shit that happened before it not. So we can talk about the violence done by Trump supporters, and they're the terrorists, where they broke a few windows and maybe pissed in the wrong place and left a little doo-doo on the chair of Nancy Pelosi. And I, I, I heard they stole uh, hardware, like a, a computer disk or whatever. Yeah. Compared to the billions and billions of dollars of private damage done by Black Lives Matter and uh, the anti-thought fascists called Antifa. But then, I mean, you have to have 
a smart person to recognize that what the Billy Lamb and the Antifa idiots are doing is, you know, protest. And um, what Trump supporters are doing is racism, terrorism. We need to stop them using planes and trains and automobiles. How dare they move about? They are the Nazi. Not the Nazis attacking everyone. No, no. The people standing up for their rights and recognizing that there's something rotten in the state of Washington. Eh, Washington is in the state. I know, I know. Or rather, they're a... Uh, well, they're not a state. Fuck it. Anyway, that's my response to Mr. Schwarzenegger. I could go on. I really could go on. But it's been long enough. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. I hope to see you all next time.